Thompson Chain Reference is one of the oldest and most popular study Bibles available. It sold millions of copies and has been used for personal study, seminary, and preaching for over a hundred years. It's also one of the most unique. Instead of providing commentary, it organizes references into topics, allowing Scripture to interpret Scripture, creating a study Bible that's influence-free. It's well suited for both new converts and seasoned Christians for daily use and ministry. In this video, we'll see how the Thompson works and see some examples of how to use it. The Thompson Chain Reference System has over 8,000 topics and 100,000 references. These, along with all the helps in the back, provide a complete study library in a single volume. The KGV Thompson that I'm using in these examples is one of the last editions produced by Kirkbride. They produced the Thompson for over 100 years. That torch has now passed to Zondervan. Their first edition will be available in June of 2021. The main feature of the Thompson is the topical reference system. Every important verse has been analyzed into topics, and you can follow any topic from Genesis to Revelation. The topic names are printed in the margins next to the verses they go to. They include a reference to the next verse in the chain, and they include a pilot number. The pilot numbers are listed in the back in the numerical index, and that index includes all of the verses for each topic. In the back, you'll find close to 600 pages of tools. These reduce the number of resources that you'll need for Bible study. The general index lists all the topics found in the Thompson. It links all the other tools and includes major topics and their subtopics. The numerical index contains over 4,200 topics and reference chains. The more important topics print the complete verses. Many of them identify related topics. Thompson also includes Bible readings, charts, archaeology, short articles on Bible memory, Bible marking, analysis of books, character studies, of course a concordance, maps. These are some of the most useful tools for Bible study. The Thompson Chain Reference was designed for both laymen and ministers. The study tools can be used by anyone. Let's look at a few examples of how it can be used. Pastors can use the Thompson for sermon preparation. All of the tools are ideal for sermon prep, including topics, character studies, analysis of books, the archaeological supplement, and lots more. Its tools are great for saving time. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible works well for both expository and topical sermons. Let's look at an example of each. Let's consider an example of an expository sermon. A pastor preaching through a series on the Sermon on the Mount could turn to Matthew chapter 5. In the margin next to each verse are the topics found in the Sermon on the Mount. This helps the pastor to identify the topics and references to use in the sermon. The pastor can use a few of these or all of these references to develop the sermon. This helps keep the sermon on point and ensures that nothing is left out. The subtopics can be used to bring in other points or expand the sermon into a series. Let's consider an example of a topical sermon. So let's say that you wanted to preach on the resurrection. You could turn to resurrection in the general index and we see that it has 10 subtopics. So we could choose any of these topics we want to choose. And let's look at number six, proofs of Christ's resurrection. It gives us the pilot number 2412. So we turn to the numerical index to 2412. It gives us the title and some scriptures that we can use. But it also has the other subtopics around it under resurrection. We can use any of these to strengthen our sermon or we can use them for a sermon series. The Thompson works great for teaching Bible classes. Bible classes make great use of the topical index, character studies, book introductions, and the archaeological supplement. For example, if we want to teach on the seven churches in Revelation, we could start by going to Revelation chapter 2. In the margin of 2.1, we see a title and two pilot numbers for the topic of Ephesus. The first is 1142. In the general index, 1142 shows us Ephesus, a description, and some scriptures that we can use in our teaching. If we go back, we also see an entry 4373. This takes us to the archaeological supplement, to an entry on Ephesus, where we have a lot of information about Ephesus that we can use in our teaching. Then we simply go back to Revelation, go to each church individually, continuing the process. The Thompson is a good tool for counselors that want to counsel from a biblical perspective. 
The indexes and character studies are especially useful for this. For example, if a counselor is providing marriage counseling, they could look up the word marriage in the general index. This shows several subtopics, and the first two are commended and obligation of. This might be a good place to start. So we turn to the first one, pilot number 1620, to the topic of marriage. And we see the subtopics, but we also see that it's a subtopic of home. Now looking through the subtopics reveals scriptures that we can use for advice and examples of marriages in the Bible. Other subtopics of home include love, family, husbands and wives, and several on parents, children, home life, religion in the home, and lots more. So there's more information if you need it, but it narrows down the options to help you focus on what you need. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible is also useful for group studies, such as small groups and home Bible studies. The indexes and charts are ideal for this. Let's say a study group wants to study the lives of biblical characters. Simply turn to the character studies and the journey maps and the life trees. Look through, find who you're looking for. Lots of information. Use the information in the outlines for discussion. The same can be done for the study of biblical books. Turn to the analysis of books and select the book you want to discuss and then follow the outlines. Now each one has different information, but they include the name, the author, book origins, main theme, keywords, a basic synopsis, main characters, main lessons, and it's all biblical based. The Thompson is an excellent tool for anyone interested in studying themes. The chain references and index are great for this. If something stands out to you when reading, often you'll find the topic in the margin. It'll include the topic name and the next verse in the topical chain. Following this can lead to some interesting studies. For example, if you're reading Exodus 26 and you're intrigued by the tabernacle in verse 1, take a look at the topic in the margin. You'll see that it has a pilot number, it has the topic name, and it has the next verse in the chain. In this case, it's Exodus 39.32. Going to 39.32 gives you the topic number, the topic name, and the next verse in the chain. In this case, it is Exodus 40.34. 40.34 gives you the next verse in the chain. So follow this until you've read all of the verses. Once you've read all of the verses and you want to see verses previous to the verse you were reading, go to the index and then you'll see all the verses available. Once you've read all of those verses, come back to your original verse. Often you'll find similar topics in the margin and that lead to other verses to read and study. I started using the Thompson Chain Reference Bible in the mid-1980s. I use all the methods that I've shown here. Of course, always prayerfully keeping scripture in context. I love to study topics and the Thompson makes this easy. In the margins, you know what the topics are. So you can turn to the next verse knowing that it's what you're looking for. I sometimes turn to the back and read devotionally. I'll just choose a topic and start reading. The Bible is its own best commentary. And the Thompson highlights this in a way that's influence free. Over a hundred years later, the Thompson is still a valuable and relevant study Bible.